Hey, good morning, Zion family. Hope you had a good weekend and Valentine's Day. Uh, we're beginning uh, Lent this week with um, Ash Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, and then the first Sunday in Lent will be this coming Sunday. And so that's what our readings are looking ahead to. And you'll see a shift in tone uh, as Lent is upon us. No longer is it sort of this uh, staring in awe and wonder at the life of Jesus. Now we're sort of journeying to the cross uh, through the Lenten season. It's a season of a humble repentance. It's a somber season. It's a penitential season. Um, so you'll see the tone shift uh, in the readings and also in the music as we uh, make our way to Good Friday. Uh, for the Psalm this Monday, uh, it is from Psalm 25. And I just want to focus in on verses 6 and 7 here. They say, remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from of old. And so the psalmist here is, is crying out. This is a psalm of lament. Uh, it's an individual crying out to God for his mercy. Uh, remember your merciful God. From the oldest times we can remember, you show your steadfast love, whether it was to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden or, or to Moses on the mountain when he interceded or uh, to Noah and his family when they walked off the ark or to Abraham or Isaac or Jacob. We see example after example of God, you showing your steadfast love and how we want you to do it again. We want you to remember that's who you are. You're a God who loves to show mercy. Uh, then comes a confession. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. Haven't all of us done things in the past of which we're ashamed, things that we look back on and shake our head? We're saying, God, please, if it be in your will, overlook those things. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Now that word steadfast love, uh, that's a special Hebrew word, uh, chesed. Um, and it's uh, often translated that way, steadfast love. It's just God's faithfulness to the promises he's made to his people. He loves us because he's promised to. And so um, when we call out to God to show his steadfast love, we're not asking him um, to be someone different than who he is, but we're saying we know that you're a God who loves to keep your promises and a God who loves us. And so for the sake of that, be merciful to us and forgive our sins. What a wonderful psalm to begin our Lenten season as we kind of look inward on our own hearts and our own failings and misgivings. And we wonder, could God ever love someone like me? Well, we hold God to who he is, and we know that he will accept that. He will accept that. We pray. Father in heaven, you know the worst of my heart the deepest of my sins, thoughts, and desires for which uh, if the world knew I would be ashamed. You know them, and yet we need not stand in shame before you, O Lord, because in your steadfast love, in your faithfulness, you choose to forgive because you love us. We praise you for that this day and always. Amen. Hey, Zion, hope you have a great week ahead. Love beginning my Mondays with you. Take care and God's peace to you this day.